Crash Bandicoot is a challenging game. In order to unlock the true ending and get 100%, the player must obtain six special colored gems, all hidden throughout various levels. I'm going to basically tell you how to attain them. In order to unlock the gems, you must beat six courses without dying while simultaneously collecting every single box along the way. I've been playing this game since it came out for the original PlayStation, so I'd like to think I'm a great person to help you on this intensive journey. The first color gem we have access to is the Emerald in the Lost City, which is the course unlocked after beating Ripper Roo. The key to this level is great patience. Take your time and you will be okay. For this segment, we're going to switch to some live commentary as I play the level. Now we're going to go and get this mask and we're going to hop around just like that. No way we can get those two boxes. There's going to be four boxes in here to get. She should have six out of 82. Now we're going to make our way through this. We're going to take out the bats along the way. Take your time here if you need to. There's a Tana token in this one. That's box number seven. And now we got to jump on this box. Don't spin it. But there's a hidden switch that we're going to bounce into. And it's going to unlock this box for you right here. We're going to use that to get that token for Dr. Brio right there. Take out this bat. Um, take your time. You're not going to really see me take my time here for the sake of the guide. So I'm going to use this added height to try to jump around. You might learn something new by seeing the way I play. There's a Tana token in there. It's going to be 12 out of 82 boxes. I just took damage, but it's fine. This lizard we're going to have to use to get that token. And just try to make your way through. These platforming uh, segments can be a little tricky, so just work your way through it. I'm gonna use that to hit this cycle. Now we gotta hit that metal switch right there. And we're gonna use that to bounce back back. And that's gonna unlock some boxes for us that are above. At this point, you should have 14 out of 82. Keep that in mind. I'm not gonna get this checkpoint just yet. But we're gonna go around and bait this lizard. And we're gonna jump on him. Now inside of these boxes is another Brio token. Be careful to not spin it. So, you should have 20 boxes now. I'm not going to get this checkpoint just yet. I'm going to just jump on this segment right there. And you can hit the portal. And this can be a little tricky. You might die a few times. It's okay if you die. Because it does not count towards you either gaining or losing the color gem here. And... It's more of a puzzle than it is a level, really. So just take your time, and you can get as many retries as you want there. Now I'm going to hit this checkpoint, and this should be number 42 out of 82. And we're going to hop around. I'm going to bait this lizard. I'm going to hop on him. We're going to wait for these bats to pass and take this one out. And try to make this cycle. It can be a little tight, so be careful. Get that bat out the way. Now when we hit this checkpoint, you should have 43 boxes. And you're going to wait for these patterns to line up if you want to. Just like that. You want to go when all when all of them um, happen at the same time. Like when they come towards the screen at the same time. So right there is when you want to go. Ideally. You don't have to. Now we're going to use this lizard to bounce and get that. Be careful. It can be tricky. It's box 45. Spin while you land, and that way you will land and spin on this platform and get that lizard out the way. Oh, my controller just shut down. Give me one second. Okay, we are good to go. That could have been scary. Now, be careful. Spin, you spin this, call it the token, and then you can land on a portal. It's really easy to walk off the stage right there. And we're just going to make our way through here. I like to spin these boxes. It makes it a little easier. And these bouncy crates do break after five bounces. So get a nice count into your head. 
or you can look at your Wampa Fruits. So for example, I have 56, so I should have 66 at the end of this. Just like that. You always get 10 fruits from these. It's pretty simple. If you hold down the jump button, you'll jump higher. And that way it'll give you a lot more control over your jumps. And now we can get these 33 boxes added to our account. Should bring us to 79, so we only have three more boxes to get. So we're almost there. And just be really careful with those platforms. You want to try to stay in the middle. Now this lizard here can be trouble. So we're going to try to get him out the way pretty quickly. But we need the next one, so be careful. Walk and let him hop. And then try to hop on him. And now you get those two boxes automatically. The gym will appear right here. And you're good to go to beat the level. And that is how you do the Lost City. The second colored gem we have access to is the orange gem, also called a citrine and generator room. This is the course right after Cortex Power and before Toxic Waste. This level is a little harder, but we will pull through. Generator room is a pretty tricky level, but with the power invested inside of you, we will do it. Now you see I'm playing as Coco. We're gonna start by getting these three boxes right here. And we're gonna we're gonna jump in the air and get that box, and if you want, let the TNT explode, kind of give you some breeding room so you're not too pressured. And what's great is that the TNT actually looks like it took out the drone. So we're going to try to spin these guys forward, and they're going to hit the boxes in front of us, blowing up the TNT. So that's kind of nice. Spin while you're in the air so you can get those guys. We're going to hit this switch. Now you can wait for this platform that just fell to come back up, and you could use it to safely traverse, but... You can also jump like that, and we're going to get that first Tana token of the level. Tana token, oh, the tongue twister. We're going to jump onto these boxes, try not to hit the platform first, because the moment you hit this platform, it's on a timer, it's going to fall. And you're going to see it fall right now. You're going to hear it creak, and then it's never going to come back. So make sure you get those boxes pretty quickly. All right. We're going to work our way up. This checkpoint will be our 21 box, 21st box at a level. And we're going to make our way through, pass the obstacles, get our second token for Tana. Spin as you land, and you can spin those guys in the air. So if you want to land on the platform, wait for them to come and then spin. That way you can time your jumps better, get used to coordinating everything. That is our 23rd box. And we're going to get this portal now. There's only eight boxes in this bonus, which will bring our count up to 31 boxes out of 52 by the end of it. And then this mask will be box number 32, which is a great place to get the mask because of this part here it can be a little tricky. You want to wait for them to go all the way forward before jumping and just time your jumps properly. This is BI36 box. Now, if you want to wait, you can spin them just like that and just walk at this platform. Don't move because you can fall off this platform. And just line yourself up just well enough to get there. Let it take you. And you can spin these guys too if you need to. Spin to win. We are Beyblade. Now we're going to work our way back to these moving platforms. Look for your shadow before you land. This checkpoint will be in box number 37. You should have 46 boxes by the end of this segment. We're going to work our way past. Now that platform in the middle there is going to fall. So we have to be kind of quick. And this part can be a little tricky. You just need to keep jumping. And you should be fine. Now, you can get that box by jumping into the TNTs. Like jumping into the middle and and getting all three boxes or you can position yourself here and you can actually spin that guy into those boxes like I just failed to do I'll probably bring up a clip so now we're gonna have to short hop and get that just like that and when that blows up we should be at 49 boxes and now we're gonna make our way to the end of the level do not touch these burning hot pipes there 
I'm gonna just maneuver them. Now you can touch these blue ones. These are the cold ones. The cold ones won't hurt you. So if you wanna, you can just kind of walk up to them just like that. And just position yourself, watch out for your shadow. The shadow will tell you where you're gonna land. And then this last three boxes will give you the gem that's gonna appear right there. And then you beat the level and that's that. The third color gem is the Sapphire located in Toxic Waste, the course that's before the Pinstripe Potteru boss fight. For Toxic Waste, there's actually a nice trick you can learn from this level. I'm going to show you later. I'm going to start by getting these two, bo uh, these four boxes rather. This would be out of 39. Now look on the ground, I'm going to show you right here. You see where there's a scrape here that I'm standing on? On the ground? It's like a wear. It looks like the floor is being worn down. That's where the barrels land. So I'm actually going to show you how we can use that later on for the bouncing barrels. That way we always know where they land. We're going to get these boxes here. This is it first our first ton of tokens right there? It's going to be 11 out of 39. Make your way past all of this. Should be able to spin him as a box as a, as the barrel goes over you. This checkpoint will be our 12th box. This would be box 13 and 14. We're gonna get the Tana token there for our 16th box. Just work our way through the rest of the level. Now, I think the barrel is gonna start bouncing here. So, every third barrel is gonna be a bouncing barrel. So, I'm gonna show you this little trick. We see one bouncing right now at us. We're gonna wait right in front of the scrape. And the barrel's gonna launch over you. So I'm gonna show you one more time. If you position yourself a little bit in front of the little scrape there, the little worn down floor, you should be able to avoid the barrel completely. It should clear right over Crash's head. Now we're gonna get box number 18 and 19. So if you wait right here, for example, I'm gonna take damage intentionally. Just so I can show you. Because obviously if I take damage there when I have the mask, it might be a little harder to tell whether or not I'm actually doing it and it's working. So yeah, you just gotta be a little bit patient and learn the little patterns there. That's box number 20. So now the barrels were only gonna be bouncing at this point. So for example, I'm gonna wait right here and that barrel's gonna clear right over Crash's head. Just like that. You can also avoid the barrel by sitting to the right. And we're going to let those boxes explode. There should be 26 boxes. Now, all the remaining boxes are going to be in this bonus level as we get our third token. We're just going to work our way through. We're not going to mess around. Because all those TNTs are going to have a... They're going to have a detonate to a chain reaction. And that's basically the end of the level. We just have to survive at this point. Like I said, you can kind of wait right in front of the little scrapes and you should be fine. Or you can hop around the barrels just like that. And then the blue gem will appear right here for you and that's how you do toxic waste. The fourth color gem is the Ruby and Slippery Climb. This is the level that it's right after the high road. I really wish I can give a solid advice for this level, but it's entirely skill dependent. Patience is the key here, and knowing when to do a short hop over a long press jump will matter the most. I'm going to try my best to explain that along the way. So Slippery Climb is arguably the hardest level to get the special color gem for because it's pretty demanding, requires a lot of little tricks. So you want to be very careful on the timing of everything. And you're going to see me kind of breeze through most of it, but be pretty patient because while I'm doing this in almost no time, so to speak, this is hundreds upon hundreds of hours of playing this game. So we're going to time, be careful because those platforms have weird timing, but you want to time everything properly and just learn the cycles because sometimes it's better to not go and just wait it out. Do a nice long press on those vultures there hold down the jump button you would jump nice and high it's really really easy to control your jumps that way and how you land 
So we're going to get past his vulture here. And don't worry, you're not going to hit anything above you. So anyway, that's the first Brio token at box 12. We're going to be careful with the timing of these platforms. It's really easy to fall. We're going to take out these bad guys, hop on this vulture, long press. And when I say long press, I do mean hold down the jump button and you will jump higher. So this is going to be a 16th box here. Now these stairs can be very tricky. I feel like this is where a lot of people have trouble. So this is what I suggest when the stairs go down. Count. Or what you could do is the moment the stairs go down, spin. One, two, three, four. And then the stairs will appear. So this is a nice way to buffer. On the forward spin, we're going to jump. And that's a good way to get past that segment. In this part, you just kind of have to go for it, but don't jump too high because you would hit that spike to your left. We're going to go ahead and hop on that. Now, this part's a little tricky. Every other time that this platform protrudes at the wall, the stairs activate and deactivate. So the moment they activate, we're going to go. We have a lot of time there. Be careful here. It's really easy to get stuck on these platforms. And you want to do a nice long press to get nice height in your jumps there so you don't fall and hit the spike and this is going to be our 19th box and this checkpoint will be 21 boxes you should have one brio token still i'm going to make your way up to this top here but be careful there's a spike there on the left it's really really easy to fall here so you want to kind of be patient and just learn the cycles and these stairs are going to pop up and you can kind of safely hop over. Be careful. Wait right here. That way you can observe this scientist guy throwing test tubes of chemicals. Again, the same strategy applies here. One, two, three, four spins. Jump. And then you can make your way there. Hop on this vulture. We're going to hit this platform. Remember, long press on the button so you get the nice high jumps there we're gonna get the second brio token this is 23 boxes so be careful if you hesitate just don't move it's fine do not jump right here just walk because there is a spike right atop of us right on top of us that will hit us and we can spin these bad guys here spin as you land spin as you land so we're gonna go ahead and get these two boxes is 26 out of 51 so when i try my best to teach you how to do this part i took a death because i'm like because i took a few times to like try to see I'm like okay how can i teach this because this part is kind of up to you here but maybe i can give you some guidance here so i took it and you can die on this bonus if you die it's fine you can still get the red gem so do not restart the level if you die here you'll be okay so basically i'm gonna jump and i'm gonna spin on that box when I spin on that box as I land, you won't bounce. See? Just like that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce up high to hit this TNT. I'm gonna bounce and get on that box. Bounce on those two TNTs. And we need this one. We need to hit the second TNT. Hit the first box, bounce on that bottom TNT. Now make your way through. And we're gonna curve our way around, run off this, and jump. Do you need to see that all again? Maybe so. Let's do it one more time. So, I'm gonna spin as they land. Hit that TNT. Jump on the life box. You hit that guy. Swerve around. Hit the second TNT, the first box here. Land on that TNT. Get those two extra men. Bounce on that, just like that. Walk off. And go ahead and get those three boxes. That's basically how you do it. Replay that segment as much as you want so you can better observe how to go about doing that part. All right, now we're gonna take our time since we need, what, six more boxes, I believe? Just breed, breed easily, take your time. If your heart rate's going crazy, it's fine. Just breed. So we're gonna land on these platforms. We got 47 out of 51. We can land on this guy here. And now, like I said, we're gonna do nice long jumps onto the vultures. There's going to be three vultures all right here back to back. Just hold the jump button and hold right. Do not go all the way right. We have two more boxes to get past this scientist, okay? So we need to spin him first, get him out the way. 
When you spend these two boxes, the red gem will appear right here. And you will have successfully completed Slippery Climb. Congratulations, you've won. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying something. The fifth color gem you will have access to is the yellow one, which is also called a citrine, but I guess we could say this one's closer to being a lemon quartz, but I digress. This gem can be found in the lab, which is the second to last area of the game before taking on the final boss. So we have to do the lab next in order to get the purple gem, because the purple gem requires the yellow gem. It's in this level. So we're going to go start by hitting this switch. I'm going to open the door. We're going to hit that switch. Watch the floor. It's on a timer. This Tana token is the first box we get. Now you want to count. It's one, two, three, and then you can proceed. Spend these two boxes. Yeah, again, like I said, one, two, three, and spin. Just like that. And be careful with this slime here. You can jump on top of him if you want. Again, one, two, three. Ready? Wait for it. One, two, three. Spin. Now, there's a switch here, but there's a TNT present here, so be very careful there. And now we can make our way through. There's going to be our 12th box, and this is going to be the final Tana token of the level. This level is pretty short, but it's challenging, obviously. So there's a trick to this right here. If you notice, there's two arrow boxes. I wonder why that is. It's because you have to jump on this arrow box and curve around just like that. And there's two boxes up there. So make sure you get those two boxes. By the time you spend this box, you just have seven boxes in this bonus out of 12. So now we're going to make our way past all of this. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that in mind. Whoop. I jumped too soon. And that's how you get all 12 of those boxes there. That's going to add to our total count which I think will give us 25 boxes. Yeah, 25 by 36, we're gonna hit the switch and wait for the doors to open all the way because you can hit the doors and then spikes will kill you as well on the doors. So this part's a little tricky. You wanna wait for him to kind of do his little thing there. Or what you can do is walk around him like so and completely avoid him. Spin these two switches Spin this switch to get the floor. Watch out for that slime. All right. One, two, three. Remember, and spin and spin the switches. Just like that. Watch out for the sciences. We're going to spin him. He hit something ahead of us. Anyway, we're going to spin that checkpoint. I think he hit the boxes that were here. Interesting. But make sure that by this switch, you should have 31 boxes, okay? So now we're going to hit that. Oh, he hit those boxes. That's what it was. So when you hit this switch, you should have 31 boxes. Like I said, one, two, three. And we can run around him again instead of dealing with him. Be careful. A slime does spawn here. One, two, three. Spin the crate. These are... And then there's a switch there. One, two, three, and jump. This, this floor is on a timer, so you can hide here on the sides if you want to avoid the floor. And just kind of do that. These are our last three boxes. We're going to bounce on them, and we're going to walk across and just wait right here. And after those three boxes explode, the gem should spawn right there on you, and you are good to go. The sixth and final color gem is the purple gem or amethyst and lights out. Lights out is the level that is right after slippery climb, but it requires the yellow gem to obtain. All right, so we have one more level to do for the color gem, the special gem, the purple gem that is, the amethyst. Now this level can be pretty challenging, but we're gonna try our best to make it through without problem. We're gonna spin that box. There's only 15 boxes in this level, which is nice. Coming up soon, there's going to be another box, and there's going to be this platform. You can mostly get away by just holding up and jumping properly there. Get these two boxes there, and we're going to jump on this moving platform. Be careful. There's another moving platform we're going to land on. 
then we're gonna go ahead and there's a moving platform there we can just wait right here if you want and kind of walk walk on the sides just like that which is a nice little strategy not the fastest strategy but it's pretty safe we're gonna hit that extra life first and then hit the mask spin these rats now these rats that you spin should actually hit well never mind I spun a bunch of rats in order, but you could actually spin some rats into this mask here. If that happens, kind of be careful. Now we're going to hop on this moving platform, let it take us. Spin these rats. And we're going to get this and this, and now we have three more boxes to get. Just watch out for these axes that swing back and forth. And now the yellow platform is here. And it's going to take us to the very top of this area. There's three more boxes, and our purple gem should appear right here. And you got all the color gems. Not that bad, right? I hope this guide has been helpful in aiding you along your journey. If so, please leave a comment or share, subscribe, whatever it is. Interact. I will tell you anything you want to know. If you have any suggestions on what levels you might want to see a step-by-step -step guide on, leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a beautiful day. Collect your heroes.